Hello, beautiful minds of the digital realm. It's your host, Alvin, steering the ship of curiosity on green ground, where we navigate the high seas of entertainment, technology, and the mesmerizing world of cinema and television. Today, we're diving deep into a realm that intertwines nostalgia with modern storytelling, a place where the whispers of the past meet the cinematic techniques of the present. So buckle up, dear friends, as we embark on this enthralling journey together. Now, imagine a world where the echoes of iconic narratives resonate through the corridors of time, only to find themselves on the silver screen once again. This, my friends, is the universe of legacy sequels, a cosmos where the classics are reimagined, not just as shadows of their former selves, but as entities yearning to etch their own identity. It's a fascinating concept, isn't it? The idea that a story told decades ago can be reborn, retaining its core essence yet pulsating with fresh energy. In the heart of this universe lies a recent creation, a film that sought to tread the hallowed grounds of a legendary predecessor, The Exorcist Believer. Ah, The Exorcist, a name that sends shivers down the spine, conjuring images of an era when horror was not just about jump scares, but a chilling waltz with psychological terror. But what happens when such a monumental narrative is passed down the lineage? Does it flourish carving its own niche, or does it wither, overshadowed by the colossal legacy of its ancestor, the exorcist believer, dear cinephiles, embarked on this precarious journey helmed by the visionary David Gordon Green. Now, Green is no stranger to the world of revivals, having breathed new life into the Halloween series. But the exorcist is not just any legacy. It's akin to a sacred scripture in the world of horror. So did Believer rise to the occasion, or did it falter under the weight of expectations? Let's unravel this enigma together. The film, my friends, begins like a carefully composed symphony building its tempo, setting the stage for an exorcism that promises to be the crescendo. The cinematography, the narrative pace, the subtle homages to William Friedkin's masterpiece all seem to be in perfect harmony. But as the plot progresses, as familiar faces from the past are woven into the narrative, the symphony, rather than reaching a thrilling crescendo, descends into a cacophony. It's a curious case, isn't it? Here we have a film that had the potential to be a poignant ode to the original, yet somewhere along the journey it lost its path. It succumbed to the allure of nostalgia forsaking its unique voice. The return of Ellen Burstyn's character, for instance, rather than adding depth, feels like a dissonant note disturbing the narrative rhythm. But dear friends, this phenomenon is not unique to Believer. It's symptomatic of a larger trend in Hollywood, a trend that prioritizes the resurrection of the old over the innovation of the new. It's as if the industry is caught in a loop, constantly looking back, fearful of taking a leap into the unknown. Halloween Scream, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the list goes on. Each revival, each sequel, seems to be a mirror reflecting the past, rather than a window gazing into the future. Now this brings us to a crucial crossroads, a point of introspection. What do we as connoisseurs of cinema seek from these revivals? Is it a mere rehash of the tales we adore, or is it a fresh perspective, a new narrative woven from the threads of the old? It's a question we must ponder, for it is we, the audience, who hold the power to shape the cinematic landscape. As we mull over this, I urge you, my fellow seekers of cinematic wisdom, to engage in this dialogue. Let's turn this monologue into a conversation. Share your thoughts in the comments below. What are your views on legacy sequels? What do you expect from them? And where do you think the industry is headed? And while you're at it, if you've enjoyed this deep dive into the cinematic universe, do hit the like button. It's a small gesture, but it keeps our ship sailing. Also, if you haven't already, subscribe to Green Ground. Here we don't just discuss movies. We explore the very art of storytelling, we dissect technology, and we delve into the myriad realms that shape our digital experience. So become a part of this journey, for it's a journey we embark on together. Before we part ways today, remember, there's a treasure trove of content waiting for you in the description below. Dive in for more insights, more discussions, and a plethora of information that extends the boundaries of our conversation here. So until next time, keep the passion for cinema burning bright, stay curious, and continue seeking the gems hidden in the vast expanse of the entertainment universe. This is Alvin signing off, but remember, the dialogue continues, and it continues with you. Cheers, and take care.